So, next part, we're going to start adding foliage in now. So, I'm just going to wipe our brush. So, a little bit of a uh, medium and squeeze the medium to the tissue a few times. So, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some medium, a little bit of medium and we're going to be using green and blue. So I'm into a medium, put that down, and I want to get a little bit of sap green, put it over here, and I'm going to get a little bit of phthalo blue, mix those two together to get a nice sort of dark mix. Okay, so I'm just going to literally scrub in some colour. So I'm going to start with this side first. I'll show my picture you can see, you can see what I've done. Basically, I've just scrubbed in a background colour here and here. So basically, if you look at this, I will be scrubbing colour like so. And all I'm doing is, is I'm flicking backwards and forwards like so. So all I'm going to do is just flicking out the colour. So all I'm doing, backwards and forwards to start with. So like that sort of gives you shape there, you know. And then over here, what I did is I just started from there and I just pulled up the colour first, come around there, like so, right the way around there. So basically I'm just filling in the whole area. So to start with. So into my colour, which is the greeny blue, bluey colour, and I may go into a bit of blue, a bit of blue there, and so I'll just add a little bit of blue in there, but I've got medium in there as well, okay, so I'm just scrubbing in colour, and I'm just flicking, like so, just flicking up and down for a minute, just around the basket area. Keeping this edge, obviously you don't want to keep this edge. But I'll just carefully go around my handle. Like so, I'm just going to come around here. Okay, just scrub it in. So what I'm doing is going into a little bit of blue. I'm just going to scrub some blue in there. Some of this is going to be covered up, so don't panic. I'm just literally just trying to get a bit of colour in there. Okay. So over this side, literally just don't worry. I mean, like at the moment, I've just pulled this nice and neat around there, but in a minute we're going to change this around, so don't panic. So I'm going to come around the side of the handle here. we've just got some dark colour, darky green colour in there. So I'm going to go back to my picture as a, as a reference because obviously you know sometimes we want to have a look at what we've done, try and create something similar, we want to create something similar. And so basically what I'm going to do the first time, I'm going to do this sort of area here and all I did really was go back into my colour and I just did like a, a diamond shape or a kite shape, like so. All right. And I just started filling it in. I just want a bit of medium. Okay. I'm just going to take this up here, like so. Now, if you use the, the tip, the very tip, if you just touch, pull down, 
touch and pull down in a few places. It looks like foliagey shapes because we just want this as a background. We've got other proper foliage going over the top, so it's just bits and pieces of looks like it will be foliage, it will be in the background, a little bit of foliage coming out. So I just sort of filled it in there and I did the same, I sort of came out here, just got the colour, touch, pull it in, in a few places, leave a few gaps, some longer than others. So you can see I'm starting to build up just sort of a few bits of shape here, coming in, random, and then do a few little tiny whispery bits coming off the basket and I'm literally just touching and pulling this around using this colour. So, so I've done a few there and then I may do a couple of bits flicking up from the bottom up this way like that and then I'm going to come over to this side for the moment and I'll start pulling a few of these just down literally just got the same colour and just touching and just pulling this like so different shapes different lengths but I'm just literally just pulling out and hopefully you can see get an idea what's going on there and I'll pull up a few now I will put a few coming across my handle because obviously we want it to look realistic and foliage is going you know different ways coming across the handle as well so I'm mean, at the moment I'm still using the same colour I'm just flicking up just a few bits and pieces for a minute like so so that's that's sort of the main thing at the moment now what I'm going to do is in a few places I'm going to add some lighter colour um, so all I'm going to do to make that is I'm going to go into a little bit of yellow I'll put a little bit of yellow on the tip of the brush. Now I've still got the same colour and I'm just going to flick out from there as well, very lightly. Add a few of these lighter ones. So I'll go back into the yellow, just get a little bit on, on the tip. Okay, and I'll just touch, pull out a few light ones here and there, just as if it would catch the light here and there, add a few green bits in there, Start, sometimes I pull from this way, sometimes I pull outwards, it, it, it doesn't matter, it really is personal preference really, or which way you want to do it, but you just want to add a little bit of yellow, just come down, just foliage coming out of the basket. Okay, now before I put some leaves and that in, I've um, got to think about placement and what we're going to do. So over here I've got sort of like a big leaf coming up here. So again, <laughs> it's a holly sort of shape. So basically I'm just going to start from up there, pull it out like that, pull it down, just keep pulling it out. Basically it's like a, a sort of diamondy shape. So from the side of the brush I'm going to touch and pull it down and come back in like that. So touch, pull it down and come in like that. So it's like a, they're very, very sort of pointy shapes. So hopefully you can, picking it up on the video, it's pointy shapes, a very pointy shape. I'm just gonna fill that in like so. Okay, so like point, pointy edges, okay. And I'll pull another one out here I like to just do a sort of like sort of straight line to start with to sort of give me an idea of what I'm looking at. And then from there, like I said, I'm just going to do they are some like so sh shapes. Really. Got some nice pointy parts to them. Like that. So I'm just going to fill this in. Fill it in. I'm going to add some blue in with that, it's a little bit light. So I'm going to go over this with some blue. Make this darker. I'm 
gun. The idea is to fill this in and your eye will take over because it's just foliage on it at the end of the day. We're just foliage. I'm going to add another leaf come sort of out from here. Another one out there perhaps, okay. I'm going to add some blue in it so it makes this nice and dark. And then what I will do is get some yellow on the tip of the brush and I'll just come down one edge. So I'm going to touch from this edge here and just pull it down this side. Pull it down at the side there. Okay, so it just sort of brings this in. Same with this one. Touch, pull it around, touch, pull it around, touch, pull it around. And this way it gives it that twisting the spike on the side. So literally I'll just touch. I'm just gonna pull down the side there. And in. So I hope you that makes sense with that, that part there. While I've got the yellow, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow, a little bit on here, this side there, a couple down there. Right, now, I'm going to do a, 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 one of these leaves that I'm going to bring round here, okay. So, same colour, the dark colour. I'm just going to bring a couple of bits coming down, like so, round the side here. And we're going to tidy that up in a minute, and we'll put some, put some coming down there. I'm just going to, basically, I'm going to bring a line coming down and I'm going to do like a, a kite shape. I'm going to take it over there actually, like so. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. So it's like a kite shape. And then I'm going to fill it all in. Like so. in there and I get some medium or brush okay and then I have a little bit of the yellow in with there a little bit more blue so I'm gonna pull one way and pull the other way now from this point here from this very point I will touch and pull in to the middle. So I'm going to touch, pull into the middle, touch, pull into the middle. Come from this side, pull out, pull into this point here, to that point there, and to that point there to give us our leaf. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow and I'm going to touch this edge and flick in. Touch this edge and flick in. All right. So we've got just sort of sort of leaf around there. That makes sense. I'm just going to add a few more branches. Now down the bottom here, I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring one across on over the top of that, like so. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to pull this back. Pull this back, like so. So we've got our points like that. I'll bring this round here, I'll bring another one down there as well. Good. Once I pull this down, I'm just going to get a bit of blue. There's some darker bits in here. some thicker bits and pieces coming across, let's add some more in. Okay, I'm going to go into some yellow, and again on this edge, I'm just going to touch, pull, and lift up. So, I'm going to touch, pull, and lift up. Touch, pull, and lift up. Okay, so it looks like the leaves are just laying sort of flat like so. Add a little bit of yellow on this edge, like so. Okay, so if you, like, you can see this highlighted there, it straightens up. Okay, um, right now, next bit we're going to do, I'm just going to put 
put the yellow over there, another another one coming out the basket there I think, and even yeah, so another one coming over there. That's it. So while I've got that colour on there I've just put it in. We're going to put in a couple of pines now. So I'm just going to wipe my brush and I'm going to use a black and brownie mix. So a bit of medium. I'm going to go to some black and some Van Dyke brown and I'm going to mix those together to create sort of like a, a, a dark colour and I'm going to have like a cone coming across here so basically I'm going to start from there and I'm going to pull this down okay so just a, la a line straight down and what I tend to do is I use the very tips okay and I'll touch and pull it down touch and pull it down touch pull it down and as I come down I'll get wider okay so I'll do two touches so touch 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 so basically they just, I'm just like touching the actual side of the brush and as I come down the bottom I will just come a little bit wider that makes sense so I'll come a little bit wider so it's dark and I'm not sure you'll be able to see that at the moment well I'm going to put one in there and then I'm going to put one across here so using the same dark colour I'm just going to draw my line come straight down and go and then just touch the side touch the side touch the side and come out a bit more so I'm just sort of dabbing it really dabbing with the side of the brush and again it's dark down here you won't see much going on so I just want to get a basic dark because you need dark to show the light so I'll get that colour in there first and then I'll wipe my brush and then I'll come into my dark sienna colour and I'll load that up a little bit of medium load that up and I'll go over the top of the blacks that we've done so just using the side just touch 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 and basically what this is doing is creating the shape of the pine, I'll do this one, and literally I'm just touching. <coughs> so, just using the brown, I'm just touching, literally. Okay, once we put the dark sienna on there, I'm going to use a bit of dark sienna and a bit of white and then I'm just going to touch one side and I'm angling it as I do it I'm angling each side so I'm just touch touch but don't put too much don't, you know, don't get too carried away you just want to get it so the light is just here and there on some of these parts. I may add just a touch of blue in with the white. So I've got a touch of blue, a little bit touch of medium, gone into some white, got a little bit of bluey colour in there. I'm just gonna touch a few of these with a just a very light blue colour. Like so. Hopefully you can see that. So hopefully they, they're sort of standing out now. Now I'm going to go into my round brush into some medium, and I'm going to go into a little bit of this bluey colour that we just had, and I'm just going to add a few little berries in here in blue, just sort of bluey colour. So I'm just doing little circles, not random. So a 
few here. Okay, and I might, I might add a couple over this side. Some over there. Okay, I'll give that a wipe. And then I'm going to get some green. So I've got the, this green colour I was using. I'm going to add some yellow to that. So it makes it a lot lighter. And then I'm going to put a few green ones in here. Some in. It could be, be grapes, who knows? <laughs> so I'm going to put some bits in here. So I'm just doing circles. If you can't see them enough, just add a little bit of white to them. So I'm just going to have quite a few of them around here. A circle shape, just hopefully you can see them on the video. Add a little bit of white, just add a few more. Yep, that stands out okay, I think. Yeah, I think that stands out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those are what I'm gonna do is gonna add some berries now. So okay, just clean the brush, we'll go to some medium. We're going to go into our Lizard and Crimson, give that a little mix, and I'm going to add some berries around here. So basically, I'm going to do round shapes. So, first, just using I'll do any medium this time. Okay. I'm going to do some, a few berries around here. So I've got one there, one there. All right, let's do another one there. Now let's do some over here. So I'm going to put some nice one there. A basic round shape to start with. Just a clump. Well, them just get the colours on there. Let's do a few. Let's do a few here. I think uh, there. Just round circles. Then wipe your tissue paper and just get a little bit of white. It can be dirty white, it doesn't matter, it's got a lot of bluey colour. But just touch this and just just on a few, just the tops. Just touch a few of the tops. And I'm just literally just touching them. So they've got a bit of colour. Like so. Just a little bit of colour there. That's it. I'm just going to straighten this bottom bit out. So I'm just going to wipe my brush. I'm just going to get a little bit of, remember the purple colour? I'm just going to get a little bit of medium. And some of this purpley colour with this morning. And we were always doing it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white. I'm just gonna put a little bit around here. Right there. Just give more white. So if there's a little bit of snow or something coming down here, like so. Shape this around a little bit. Just 
just very lightly, just take it into the basket. And then what I tend to do, I use my finger, and I just very lightly edge here. Smudge this around. Oops. Yep. I'll use my round brush again. Get my little round brush. Some of this green, and I'm going. I'm just going to add a few little bits and pieces coming down. Grasses and you know a bit of foliagey things. Break some of this up a bit more. And I must make sure I don't forget my little bit of white on the top of these berries. So. A few little light bits and pieces coming out of here. And a little bit of just a bit of white and a little bit of blue. It's gonna have a few more bits coming up. And all I'm doing is just very little faint lines now, just coming up. Just adding a little bit, a little bit of interest, you know, different colours. Go from one to the other, lights and darks. Just adds a bit more interest. Picture. Okay. Now, I've got a little bit of odorless thinner, a little bit odorless thinner, and I've got some white. So, on these hard brushes, bristles, I'm just going to tap into some white, like so, and I'm going to literally hold my finger and a thumb and I'm just going to flick let's move my picture out of the way this one I'm literally just going to flick some white very carefully over the picture Okay, and you can put as much or as little of this as you want on your picture. Um, but it gives it that lovely sort of snowy effect and winter effect. So I hope uh, you follow along guys and it wasn't too difficult for you. I think it's, it's quite a nice effective picture. So it's Mark Terrell with Paint with Mark signing off. Please like, subscribe and share. I really do appreciate it, guys.